I didn't really feel like changing since they didn't feel like writing a good episode. Episode 6, the episode that no one was looking forward to. It didn't disappoint on that. It's supposed to be the Skinner backstory episode. We open up on Vietnam, and there's Haley Joel Osment and some glasses guy. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, oh my god, are they making Haley Joel Osment young Skinner? No thank you. But young Skinner is actually like kind of cute. So the gist of the Vietnam thing is basically like Skinner and Haley Joel Osment are tasked with like delivering this box, and they end up in this Vietnamese village that's being shot up. Box ends up getting shot up, releases all this gas, and Haley Joel Osment goes kind of crazy and sees a bunch of monsters. It's actually really hot. Wardrobe change. Haley Joel Osment hallucinates that there are monsters and kills everybody in the camp. Skinner's like, what? So then we're in director Kirsch's office. Mulder and Scully go in there. It's just like old times where they're getting their asses chewed out by Kirsch. You're the reason Skinner like never did anything. Could have had everything and it's all your fault. And no offense to Kirsch, but like his acting kind of sucks. I don't buy your naivete, not even for a moment. I don't buy your acting for a moment. Kirsch tells Mulder and Scully that Skinner's missing, so Mulder and Scully go to Skinner's apartment and Mulder picks the lock. They're walking around his place. Skinner has no life at all. Just a sad zone. There's no pictures. They also choose this sad, sad moment full of bleakness and constipation. He may suffer from moderate to severe constipation. To reveal Skinner's middle name is Sergey. Cool. And while they're snooping, Scully finds a human ear. Yep, and a note that says, monsters are here. And she's like, Does that get your juices flowing? I wish that that did more for me. It mostly just creeps me out. Anytime we're gonna use the word juices, you gotta really question whether or not that's the best way to put that. Then they're on their way to the morgue. A sad, homeless war vet sitting outside the morgue. He's like, you're not gonna find kittens. It's like, all right, Mulder and Scully just keep walking. They end up talking to the sheriff, basically tells them all the townspeople think that there's a monster running through the woods. Mulder's like, oh, my specialty. Cut to the woods and there's this guy who's clearly hunting or something, running around the woods while this like shadow monster like zooms in and out. He falls into a hole. All of a sudden it's, it's the point of view of the monster. Weird. You walk up and you see that he's like falling into the this hole and spike going through him. You expect it to be the monster, but no, it's Skinner standing up there. Skinner, are you the monster? I'm trying really hard to act like I care. So then Mulder and Scully go out to the woods and talk to like, I don't know, his neighbor or something. Yeah, he was also losing teeth and I'm always losing teeth. Why are we even talking about teeth? And then Scully finds a deer cam set up on one of the trees. Like, oh, we can review the footage, see like this guy died or who's the killer. Real quick, this episode did a really good job with casting because uh, some of this middle American the talent is a little too on the nose. Interesting to see the comparison between Mulder and Scully. These Kentucky mudlick people. No offense if mudlick's a real place and mudlick people are real. So after they see that it's Skinner on the tape, the sheriff sort of goes off. Oh, you know him and he's a bad guy. And Scully tries to like defend Skinner. To, no, like Meh. put out an ABV. And so then Mulder and Scully like review the rest of the tape and they see this weird monster thing like sneak up to the camera. Like really creepy looking. Came back on it. Why did he approach the camera that way? Other than, you know, for the audience to see like the monster. After they leave, Scully's like, Mulder, you know that that monster is not real, right? Deeply concerned that he's gonna think that thing's real. Sort of seems like he doesn't really think it's real. A plus points for being remotely sane during this episode. Then they go back and talk to the homeless war vet. His name is Trigger, something with bald eagle and kitten. And like, honestly, all of those nicknames were not worth explaining. I thought it would be like, oh wow, secret names. Gotta figure it out. No. So then we see Skinner approaching this ratchety old house in the middle of the woods. So it looks like a trash house. He goes inside and he flips through this book. There's all these pictures from Haley Joel, him and Nam, whatever. Haley Joel Osment comes out and is like, oh my god, is it you? And he's like, no, I'm his kid. Because <sighs> I'm trying so hard to give like a single fuck. Haley Joel Osment's kid is named Davy, and then Davy and Skinner have it out about back in Nam and how his dad was exposed to gas, and apparently like Skinner testified against his dad. You know, Skinner's trying to get like emotional about it. I knew it was wrong. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. 
Mitch's acting is fine, but it's just like, if there's really nothing to care about, acting doesn't matter. So then after getting all emotional over the situation, Skinner's just like, take me to him. And I'm like, Skinner, do you really want to be taken to that guy? Like, it sort of seems like these people have lost their minds a little bit. You know this guy's kind of crazy. Kind of a bad idea. Meanwhile, Mulder and Scully have this whole side plot line about being like concerned that they've held Skinner's career back. I mean, that's an interesting thought. It's sad, like if it's true, but also like, who cares at this point? It's not like you can turn back time and suddenly make it so you don't influence Skinner's career. Like, like the whole Mulder and Scully plot emotional aspect to this is just like being like, oh God, did we do that? That's our fault. Does it matter? I have to like, I just don't see the point. So then we're back Davies leading Skinner out. Do you see that he's like hanging from a tree? Is it actually him or is it like a fake? dead body. I, there are just so many questions because at first I thought it was real and then I thought it was fake because I was like, who would do that? And then I'm just like, I'm back to thinking it's real again. I don't know. He leads him to this hole and pushes him in and then fucking cuts down the body to hang in there with him. That is the sickest thing ever. What fucking like fucked you up, dude? That's crazy shit. Skinner's like down at the bottom of the hole and he's got a fucking stake sticking through him too. Ugh. Also really reminds me of Silence of the Lambs. Put the lotion in the basket. Silence of the Lambs was a good movie. This, however, Mulder and Scully approach Davy's place. And the whole time I'm thinking like, hey Skinner, maybe scream. Like, they're right there. I'm pretty sure that they would be able to hear you. Mulder and Scully are trying to talk to Davy. Davy, I think, is worried that maybe Skinner will scream because you know what? Skinner should be screaming. He puts on this weird music. And Scully's like trying to yell at him over the weird music. And Mulder's like over looking through like the photo books, worried because he recognizes Skinner. You know what? I'm getting tired of hearing myself talk about it. Oh, does, do any of you care? Does anyone care? I guess I have to finish this anyway. Moral of the story is, don't trust cat people. Mulder goes back trying to find Skinner. Pretty sure that Skinner's there. He ends up finding the scary monster costume in the closet. Then I think that Mulder hears Skinner screaming or something. So he goes outside and it's like, see Skinner, that really would have worked at the beginning. And then he walks away to go outside and then you're like, oh my God, it's not a costume. There's a person in there. Also, he's like standing up now. How did he get himself unstuck from that like stake? Hard pass. So then Mulder's trying to get him out of there and he's like, get out of here. Ungrateful, that's rude. I'm trying to save you. But then of course the monster charges and then pushes Mulder into the hole too. I'm like, I really don't buy the way that Mulder fell into that hole and like Skinner caught him and like he didn't get hurt. Like that looked like a load of bullshit to me. Either way, now it's both of them down there with Kitten, Davy Jones, Haley Joel Osmond's dead body, whatever. And to be honest, the whole thing's a nightmare. Then Davy's pouring gasoline on them. Like, oh shit, about to blow it up. And then Scully comes out of nowhere and shoots him. She looks like a damn badass. Yes, girl. Yes. Mm, take him down. Scully gets Mulder out of the hole and they just like leave Skinner to go chase after Davy. I mean, I don't really care, but that seems fucked up. Then out of nowhere, apparently Skinner's gotten out of the hole, takes Davy down. Then this like booby trap situation falls down on him and kills him. <sighs> then Scully treats Skinner's wounds. This whole heart to heart about like, are we the reason that we held you back? Like, was it us? And I'm still just like, wow still don't care. And at least Scully looks good here. Her hair looks good. Like this is a good wig moment. She's wearing a nice little sweater. Like it's a whole good situation going on. And then Haley Joel Osment gives this like final tiny monologue about how like the government is gassing everybody and controlling their mind. And then that's the end. My final note reads, fuck this. So I guess that's about uh, how he felt about this one. At least there's the promo for next week's episode where we see the new wig and a bunch of drones and robots and things. So that looks really cool. I'm also sorry that the pristine, beautiful wig of the last six episodes didn't get a better send off than this shithole of an episode. This was directed by a lady. She did a great job. The directing was fine. The writing was shitty. Hmm. I feel like I should have cared more the solid negative five the whole episode. Especially considering the fact that Mulder and Scully were actually on screen for a lot of it. Homegirl should have had a reason to care and just didn't. Searching for the fucks to give. Anyway, at least next week it looks great. So well, thanks for watching. Check out last week's if you haven't seen it or subscribe. I'm also considering doing a Q&A soon or a few videos over the hiatus. So, like leave a comment, tell me what you'd like to see, ask me questions. I'm not gonna make any promises, but there'll probably be videos during the hiatus. Don't worry, I'll be around.